if I could all have everyone's attention, we have what we hope will be a short program. We know that there are not enough seats for everyone, so we're going to keep it moving here. Uh, make sure everyone can get back to uh, socializing and enjoying the, the bar and the risotto and all the wonderful stuff. So we're uh, on behalf of uh, Dean Greg Washington, uh, I'm Hal Stern. We're the deans of the School of Engineering and Information and Computer Sciences, and we would really like to welcome you here tonight. We have, uh, thank you. so when we created this event, we had three purposes in mind. It's a very special time, as you all know. One is to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the university, this 50th anniversary of the university. Uh, many of you, some of the people were here. Uh, tomorrow, October 4, was the first day of classes 50 years ago. So, um, <laughs> And I'm sure that all of you take pride, as do we, in what UCI has become. It's really a spectacular success story for education in the state of California. Um, the second objective tonight is uh, Dean Washington and I are setting up, uh, respectively, halls of fame for the School of Engineering and the School of Information and Computer Sciences. Uh, we have large numbers of alumni for ICS, the number is about 9,000 plus. For engineering, it must be 13, 14,000. Um, and it's time we felt appropriately to recognize some of the achievers. Now, I must say, uh, when you set out to do such a thing, uh, it's very hard to hit all of the targets out there. So there's excellence out there that we don't know about, and we would love to hear about it. So please don't be shy. Um, and the third is, uh, over the last uh, five years or so, that. Greg and I have been working together, we've tried to increasingly engage our alumni. And so um, after making sure that all of the folks uh, for the Hall of Fame and the 50th and the founding faculty were going to be here, we reached out to all of our alumni to invite them to be here. And so we have um, a lot to celebrate today, a lot to celebrate together. And we're really excited that you're here. So um, thank you for coming. I'm going to turn it over to Greg uh, to say a few words. And then the two schools will alternate Hall of Fame presentations. So. Greg? How y'all doing today? Come on, isn't this great? This is a fabulous event. I am uh, deeply humbled, actually. And when I saw the outcomes, when I saw what, you know, we, we decided to do this event, we had some idea, because we knew some of our alums and some of the great things that people had done, but as we began to go through this process, we just uncovered excellence uh, that, in my opinion, was just humbling. And uh, seeing the kinds of things that many of you all have done is, 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 is actually mind-blowing. One of our earliest graduates, a first PhD graduate, is actually here today. And one of the things that he was telling me was that he and his advisor and many of the other faculty and their students in, in the very early days of the establishment of, the, uh, of these programs actually had offices atop of a 7-Eleven across the street. <laughs> on top of a 7-Eleven. And I looked at him and I said, you know, I said, you remember that commercial from Virginia Slims? And he said, yes, and we've come a long way, baby. <laughs> and so I am just ecstatic uh, to be here. And it is great uh, to see the outcomes and, and, and to see uh, what we have all done. And <clears throat> what, I want to take a brief moment to just highlight a few people uh, in the audience uh, here today. Um, because we, we do have some really significant history. And one of the things you're going to see as we go through the reading of all of these names and bringing our Hall of Famers up, we're not going to be able to talk about in depth, just in the essence of time, all the great things that they have done. We are establishing a website, and you'll be able to go to that site and see the accolades. But there are some people who have helped establish this place. And uh, uh, myself, uh, the Dean of Engineering here, uh, there is also two other engineering deans in the audience, uh, Alan Stuberud 
and Nick Alexopoulos. Can you all raise your hands, Alan and uh, Nick? Oh, they're in the back here. We just, we, we just took a photo together and I told them that, you know, they laid the foundations for where we are today. And, you know, my job was to just basically catch the baby. And so it, it, it is great. Um, we also, I know uh, there are a number of former department chairs and uh, current department chairs from the Henry Samueli School of Engineering. Will you all please raise your hand former or current, see some over here, over here. And then finally, there are a number of faculty and staff who are here today. And any of our current, former engineering faculty and staff, will you please raise your hands as well? Please. Our schools have come a long way uh, from starting on top of this 7-Eleven back 50 years ago uh, till now today where we are, uh, you know, our rankings, the way it's done is it's combined because most places nationally engineering and computer science are combined programs and so we are we are the 22nd ranked uh, public engineering program in the country and that's out of 300 engineering schools so to have that kind of movement in 50 years is a great thing Look, and I, and, I, and I will tell you, it is not a testament to us. It is a testament to you. It's your great outcomes. It's the kind of things that you've done. It's the impact that you've had on the community. It's the impact that you've had on this world. And that impact has been great. That impact is what is fueling and propelling us forward. So on that note, please give yourselves a round of applause. UCI last year had more than 80,000 applicants to this university. More than 80,000 applicants to the full University of UCI. One in four, about one in four of those applicants applied to either the Henry Samueli School of Engineering or the Donald Brent School of Information and Computer Sciences. More than any other program on campus. Our biggest issue, our biggest issue is that we're just not big enough to accommodate all of the qualified students, all of the qualified students who really want to get in here. We're just not big enough to accommodate them. They, you know, they literally wind up getting accepted into English, the humanities, and they try to sneak in through the back door. Some of them make it. Uh, uh, some of them don't, uh, but these programs have come a tremendous way, and they've come a tremendous way in a very, very short time. I will tell you all this, that the value of your degrees have never been worth more than it is today. The value of your degrees have never been worth more than it is today. So here's how we're going to go forward. I'm going to ask Hal Stern to come back up. He has a couple of announcements that he's going to make. And then he will read off the names of the, hall, the, the inaugural Hall of Fame class. Now again, we couldn't get everybody in the Hall of Fame this year. But we have our inaugural members. And then every year, we will add three to five new members per school each year, so this will continue to grow. Okay, so Hal will come up, he'll say a few words, then he will uh, bring forward the ICS nominees, they'll pose uh, for a picture together as a group over here, and then we will cycle through and do the engineering uh, nominees, and then we'll close out the program. Again, we don't want to keep you uh, here too long. 
So on that note, I'm going to bring Hal, Hal back up, and we'll move on. Thank you. Thanks, Greg. So I'm going to mention a couple of, uh, anal I, I recognize a couple of analogous groups to what Greg did. Um, before I do that, I'm actually going to throw out, in, in case people are not aware, some of the UCI rankings, which I think are really quite spectacular and appropriately recognized, um, if you haven't seen it. Can everyone hear me? Okay. Got to hold it a little closer, I think. Um, UCI in the most recent rankings, and I'm a professional statistician, I don't put a lot of stock in rankings, but when they're, when they're in your favor, you grab them anyway. Um, so UCI is now considered one of the top 10 public universities in the United States, which is... And equally compelling, many of you may have seen, the New York Times did an analysis a couple of weeks ago to look at which universities, public or private, do the most to transform lives. And they looked at that by seeing the number of students who are Pell eligible, low income students, and factoring in graduation rates and the like. And the top six campuses in their analyses were UC campuses, and the number one campus was UC Irvine. So, and Greg mentioned one of the engineering rankings, so I'll throw in uh, that ICS um, the com in computer science, which again is lots of ICS, some of the uh, engineering faculty, uh, most recently ranked 23rd, not in the US, in the world, actually, for the influence of the research. So um, having said all that, let me thank some of my predecessors. Um, I won't bore you with the history. ICS was a department and then a school, but we have a handful of its former leaders that um, brought us to this date. I want to start by recognizing two founding faculty, Julian Feldman and Fred Tonger here, if you can raise your hands. I want to mention um, one special uh, point with respect to Fred is we've recently received a gift that's going to a, and endow a scholarship in Fred Tong's name. And uh, that's just happening right now, so we're very excited about that. Um, and then additional uh, people who've been chairs or deans of our school, um, Tim Standish, uh, John King, and Deborah Richardson are here, if you can kind of... Uh, So, so somehow the leaders are hanging out uh, in different places, but we're going to try to get all of that group together for a picture later. Um, I also would like to recognize our faculty, so if the ICS faculty that are here could stand up maybe and show yourselves, I'd appreciate it. So. So thank you. So now we're going to move on to the Hall of Fame part of, of this process. And as Dean Washington said, um, we're going to call up the Hall of Fame first for ICS. We're going to ask the individuals to come up and um, come through this way. Uh, Kristen Worth will hand out the little award that we have. Um, they'll, the recipients will come up and uh, shake my hand. And then we're going to collect. <laughs> We're going to take a picture, how could I forget? We're going to collect over there for a group photo, and I will turn it over to Dean Washington to repeat. Um, one thing that Greg forgot is we've asked one representative from each school to speak briefly about the Hall of Fame and the recognition. So with that having all been done, let us get started. Um, in alphabetical order for ICS, um, I want to welcome and congratulate uh, Paul Butterworth, Bachelor 74, Masters 81. Marsha Drapkin Hopwood, PhD, 74. <laughs> Karen Evenson, Bachelor is 
We'd now like to recognize uh, David Fain, who received his doctorate in 1980 and has passed away. His daughter, Susan Fain Goldstein, is here to accept the award. Roy Fielding, all three degrees, bachelor's in 88, master's in 93, and PhD in 2000. <laughs> Patrick Hanready, PhD, 1977. Pat Helland. <laughs> Greg Hopwood, PhD, 1978. So we're going to mention the people who are not here and then move on. Tim Kashani got his bachelor's in 1986, not able to be here tonight. Uh, Barbara, Q, Barbara Q, bachelor's 1975. Richard Levine, bachelor's 1981. He's not here. I'm, he's not here, I apologize. Um, Paul Makapetris, PhD, 1981. <laughs> Owen O'Malley, Masters, 1989, PhD, 1996. I'm missing all the activity over here. So. Dinesh Ramanathan, Masters 1995, PhD 2000. <laughs> Jack Rehnquist, Bachelor's Degree 1982. Uh, Larry Rowe, who received his PhD in 1976, is not able to be here. Uh, Dan Russell, bachelor's degree in 1977. <laughs> Gary C. Graves, bachelor's degree in 1977. John Tykro, Bachelor's 1986, is not able to be here with us. And the last ICS recog recognizee, is that a word? Steve Trimberger, Master's 1979. <laughs> so we're going to be over here, quietly, taking a picture. <laughs> And then we're going to have Dean Washington come back and call up the engineers. So. Give him a round of applause. Give him a round of applause. So I'm going to follow suit, and I will uh, now go through and highlight the 
engineering 2015 inductees. Uh, again, we will read the names of all of these individuals uh, attending and not attending. And uh, so, so, so bear with us as we go through some of the names of the people who, who are, are not here. Uh, the first on the list is Mumtash Afshin. PhD, 2008, engineer, electrical engineering, computer science. Mumtaz is not here today. Uh, Nesha Ajami, BA, a PhD, 2006, civil engineering, also not attending. Gary Ashford, BS, 1970, electrical engineering, also not attending. George Belfort, uh, two-time uh, two degree holder, uh, MS in uh, 1969 and a PhD in 1972 in civil engineering. He's not attending. Our first actual attendee, Roger Blum, PhD 1983 in mechanical engineering. Next, Kurt Busch, BS, 1993, Electrical Engineering. <laughs> Brian Cooper, BS, 1981, Electrical Engineering, not attending. David Kuxia. Uh, MS 2003, PhD 2006 in biomedical engineering, not attending. Uh, Nick Desai, BS 1991, electrical engineering. <laughs> Amit. Dadwall, BS, 1993, Mechanical Engineering. Ebby Friedman, MS, 1981, PhD, 1989. Marinella Gombersev, BS, 2005, Electrical Engineering. <laughs> Paramesh Gopi, BS, 1991, MS, 1993, PhD, 2003, and Electrical Engineering not attending. Next up, Jai Krishnan Haku, PhD, 1979. Next, Bernard Hargwindigi, BS, 1981, Electrical Engineering. <laughs> Patrick Hong, BS, 1995, Mechanical Engineering.
at Sushi Hariba, MS, 1977, BS, 1975 in electrical engineering. His son, Dan Hariba, will accept the award. Dan? John Labib, BS, 1994, Civil Engineering. <laughs> Patrick Liu, PhD, 1992, Electrical Engineering, uh, not attending. Julian Woody, Marcius, Marcius, BS, 1972, Electrical Engineering. <laughs> Melody Nichols, BS, 1995, and Civil Engineering is not attending. Kareen Palm Walburn. BS, 1996, Civil Engineering. <laughs> Stephen Palm, BS, 1987, Electrical Engineering. Robert Peck, PhD, 1976. Layla Rohani, BS, 1985, Electrical Engineering, not attending. Iman Salama, PhD, 1995, Civil Engineering. <laughs> Eric Shen, BS, 1993, MS, 1995, and Civil is not attending. Krishna Shinoy, BS, 1990, and Electrical Engineering is not attending. Betsy Stivers, BS, 1980, Civil Engineering. <laughs> Doug Thorpe, BS, 1982, Mechanical Engineering, not attending. John Tracy, PhD, 1987 in civil engineering. Uh, his wife, Kathy Tracy, will accept the award on his behalf. Kathy? <laughs> Next up, uh, will be uh, the award for Truck Vu, MS 1988, PhD 1992 in electrical engineering. Truck passed away this year, but he's been a great advocate and supporter and he's done great things in the school uh, since his degree. Uh, his son, Philip Vu, will accept the award on his behalf and his wife. Okay. Thomas Ewan, BS, 1974, Electrical Engineering.
And then finally, Jack Zhao, PhD, electrical engineering, who's who, who is also not in attendance. I will move over to take the picture and then we will uh, move to the next point on the program where Dean Howe Stern will introduce the next, uh, will, will introduce the first Hall of Fame speaker. A, a handsome group as well, so. Uh, um, stay with us as we uh, near the end of the program. Um, I do want to mention one thing that we haven't yet said, which is uh, Greg started the evening by mentioning that we're humbled by all of your being here. And one of the things we didn't point out is that is that a large number of people came from far away across the country to be here. And that really means a great deal to Dean Washington and I. So I, I wanted to thank all of you for making that effort. It really does mean a great deal to us. Um, the group that you, got, that you got introduced to is extremely distinguished in lots of ways and all really deserving of an opportunity to uh, say a few words. But that would be far too long an evening. So what we have decided to do is to ask one representative of each school to say a few words, just a few brief words, uh, about their experience to talk a little bit about the Hall of Fame. And so um, I'm extremely pleased to call back up Jack Rehnquist to say a few words on behalf of the ICS Hall of Fame inductees. So Jack. Uh, thank you, Dean Stern. And, and first of all, let me just say, personally, it's an honor and a privilege to be alongside all of you uh, on this evening and to be recognized in this way by a university that made a tremendous difference in my life. You know, I, um, I, I never expected to go to a University of California. Back when I was graduating from high school, I was lucky enough to get a scholarship. And at that time, $2,500 a year actually made a big difference and what you could do in terms of tuition and room and board. And had the good fortune of having a counselor in high school who told me, because I was late in the admission process, that they've had good luck getting students into a school called UC Irvine. And I said, never heard of it. Now this was back in 1978. I thank him every day for having the opportunity to recommend that to me. Because when I first stepped onto the campus at Irvine, I really felt at home. Now, it was much different back then. You basically had this tremendous park in the middle, Aldridge Park today, Campus Park, I believe, back then, a string of very interesting futuristic buildings around the park, and most importantly to me, a Frisbee golf course right in the center of the park, which I don't know if it's still there today or not, but I'm going to find out. And then when I started the, my, my curriculum at UCI, everything became reality. My first course was something called ICS-1. And you're laughing, but I remember Professor Feldman. <laughs> you were my professor for those first 10 weeks. And I will tell you, by the end of the 10 weeks, I was talking to my parents about going to Cal State Long Beach and majoring in physical education. <laughs> But, mo but most importantly, Professor Feldman, you challenged me, you gave me the courage to stick it out, and from there forward, I had the opportunity not just to work with Professor Feldman, but people like George Luker, Lubomir Vick, a tremendous professor, Peter Friedman, who talked about the impact of information and technology on society, which today are all things that I apply every day in the work that I do helping companies, helping large organizations, helping NGOs deal with some of the biggest issues and problems that society faces, and how they can leverage technology and information as an enabler to come up with solutions that we never would have imagined 10 or 20 years ago. So it's been a fascinating career. Now for those of you that wonder why am I here, and maybe not some of you, and all of you I'm sure have great stories to tell, you probably didn't tell the most embarrassing stories 
to antigen during your interview process for the Hall of Fame. And the one thing that she asked me to make sure I share with you is that Irvine gave me all kinds of opportunity beyond just my ICS major. I tell people this is an opportunity when you go to Irvine to go to a big school that has opportunities to do anything you want, but yet small enough to be involved in anything you want. And that was truly my case. In my senior year, after three years in the dorms, after having a chance to be the RA for a dorm called Bahia in Mesa Court, which the year I took it over was the first year it went from a all-male dorm to a co-ed dorm. So you can imagine the transition I went through with those people. So my senior year, I actually chose to live out of my car, which was a 1970 Volkswagen bus, not a van, a bus, which my mother uh, sewed curtains for me of red animal print. And I slept most nights in the key parking lot in Mesa Court. So I have many memories from UC Irvine. I have a fantastic degree. It's enabled me to do so many things over the course of the last 32 years of my career. And I cherish every memory and every moment of the four years I spent there. So thank you for this honor. To my fellow inductees, I say congratulations, and I'm proud to be part of your group. Now from uh, the Samueli School of Engineering, I would like to bring forward Kareen Palm Walburn, BS 1996 in Civil Engineering to say a few words. I don't know if I could top that speech, uh, but uh, some interesting story though, especially with it being the 50th anniversary. Um, back when they were clearing the land to build the school, my grandparents actually walked the land. It was my grandmother's 100th birthday this year as well. And they were wondering if any of their kids or grandkids were gonna go to the school. And it turns out three grandkids and two great grandchildren decided to come here. So it's been a great influence on our family. It was an easy decision for me. My older brother, who is also a Hall of Famer today, um, came here and I followed in his footsteps. It seems to be me following in his footsteps for a lot of things, so he's a great inspiration for me. Now, I didn't follow civil engineering which I, when I graduated, which I think my dad's still a little disappointed because he thought I was gonna fix all the freeways in Southern California, um, but I didn't get a chance to do that. But I, do, I can say with confidence that uh, my experiences here in the School of Engineering at UC Irvine helped propel me forward in all my careers that I've been um, fortunate to have through uh, the years. It's been a big impact on me, and uh, I'm truly grateful that I got to be a part of this school. As I was reading over the bios and looking at some of the uh, different information, I am truly amazed at all the gifts that each of you possess and the abilities that all of you have accomplished. Um, and all I can say, too, is I hope with having this Hall of Fame now, we can be an inspiration to uh, other people for the School of Engineering and ICS, and uh, so also to future generations, and we can be an inspiration for all of them. Thank you. All right, see, it's not too bad. Okay, so we're going to formally close out the Hall of Fame portion of the program. But before we do, there are three big tasks we would like for you to do for us. Well, they're not so big, but we'd like for you to do them anyway. One of them is we have a photo booth back here in the back. And that photo booth uh, not, will not just take your picture. It will actually also record video. We want that information to begin to start to archive. We want your stories. We want feedback on your time here at UCI. And that, will prever that, that would preserve a, uh, a history for future generations of, of individuals to come. So please, if you have just a little bit of time, we would love for you to participate in that entity. 
The second item, out in the four-year area here, we have uh, some boards. And we would like for you to highlight your best memory, your greatest memory, or one great memory from your time here at UCI for the exact and, and, and very same purpose. And then uh, finally, um, because we all share that common bond, that common lineage, that common tradition of what it means to be an anteater here, I would like for you to participate with us in one 50th anniversary zot, zot, zot cheer. So on that note, please rise in your seats, everyone. Now, for those of you who have forgotten, the way we form the zot is you take your, it's not like this, that's a wolf pack. This, you must form the snout by curling your finger back so that you have a little nose there. And on the count of three, we do three loud zots in succession. Okay? So, one, two, three. Zot, zot, zot. Now, we got one more thing, one more thing here. Uh, before I do the final toast, wasn't this a great venue today? Please. This, this event uh, could not have happened without the help and support of some really, really dedicated people. Uh, first and foremost, uh, where, where is Kristen Hurth? Kristen? Kristen Hurth led in putting all of this together. <laughs> Along with our staff from Advancement and Development, any members of our staff from Advancement and Development, Ed, uh, Antigone, please, all of you, raise your hands so you can be formally recognized. I see Antigone over there not raising her hand. Okay. And then finally, Hal and I would like to propose a formal toast, a 50th anniversary toast to our school's 50 years of excellence 50 years of accomplishment from, from all of you, and we wish you all 50 more. Thank you. Cheers. Here, here.